Hello and welcome to Nobody Wake the Bugbear. This is part four of our actual play of Bio Drones and Cryo Clones by Chris Aereo. Hello, everyone. Hello, Josh. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. That's bad. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Well, I mean, look, what do you want to know? Well, tell us your life story. Okay, well... <laughs> John, how are you? <laughs> Andrew, this new form I have taken is prematurely aging. The formula was incomplete. I'm dying. Eternity well, yes. beckons. Charlie is mutating at this very moment as you have a little twin on your shoulder. Oblivion perhaps. awaits me. Sam, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm truly terrified by the tiny Charlie on... Charlie's shoulder. <laughs> Tiny Charlie. I don't yeah. like it. Ollie. His <laughs> Ollie, name's that's Ollie. right. You know what? I, I, I would have, one, not been surprised, and two, enjoyed it, and three, also been a little bit disturbed if John had come in with a putty head on his shoulder. Because I feel like that is totally on brand for John. Yes. Would He's you like, yeah. to come in with a prosthetic head in theme with his character? Does that mean you would come in with an elongated anus? <laughs> He always comes with an alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pre-packaged, my brother. <laughs> also, don't get, I don't understand why I have to have the elongated anus. Well, that's part of your that's mutation. Part of your mutation. <laughs> brother, <laughs> it's coming. I feel like Simon has to do a quick check when we start. <laughs> <laughs> you just start itching down there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a normal part of human. <laughs> yes, I am normal human. Here's my anus. <laughs> my anus is bleeding. <laughs> my anus is bleeding. <laughs> all right, good. We're all having fun oh, with the... The mutations. Would you like me to recap the previous week's episode? Absolutely. Here it is. Previously on Bio Drones and Cryo Clones. Simon approached Charlie and Dorian with a syringe, claiming it to be a completed stabilization serum detailed in Dr. Namali's logs. Charlie reluctantly accepted the injection while Dorian, distrustful of the android turned flesh and bone, decided to hold on to it later. You then all entered the med bay once more, discovering the mutants had wandered off. However, remaining in one of the rooms strapped to a gurney was the bloated form of Sergeant Amrit Achari. John, without hesitation, Charlie leveled his shotgun and blasted Amrit in the stomach you, you cruel bastard. Sayonara. Sayonara. No, oh, my tum tum. What? <laughs> oh, my tum tum. My tum tum. Amrit screamed out in pain. Oh, my tum tum. And Simon <laughs> moved in with the stun baton, silencing the screams. And finally, Dorian, you pulled out your combat knife and put the sergeant out of his misery. Yeah, everything seemed pretty cruel up until then. I'm not going to lie, especially and the stun baton. You did think it was pretty cruel, him being tied up and mutating. So it's a mercy. That's it. Yeah. Mercy killing. I'm not going to lie, the stun baton was a lapse of judgment. I was more thinking if I stun him, he'll go unconscious and he won't think about the pain. <laughs> Rather than just being like, <laughs> salt to the wound. <laughs> you then moved north to the morgue where they found, where you all found the body of Dr. Namali, along with one of Charlie Valentine's previous clones. Luckily, you didn't. Dorian, I believe you didn't yeah, tell Charlie this. Nobody saw that except yes. me. Before leaving Simon, you took the tip, just the tip of Namali's finger, a precious sample for the treatment formula. You have one of these samples so far. And you can attempt to create the treatment formula with one sample, but Namali has told you that gather more samples will increase your chances of success. Mmm. Mm. Missed that bit. Did you? Yeah, I did. I entirely missed Good. the bit where if I get more samples. Yeah. You went back into the labs and you approached the door to the refinery. Simon brought out his spider, Spencer, and Dorian seized the opportunity to kill it. Who wouldn't? And failed. Simon, you took, you took your spider and ran off whimpering like a little child. Charlie and Dorian proceeded to force the door open and entered the refinery. Yeah, Charlie really left me hanging on that one. I thought we had a you deal. You did. You said you were going to get the spider. I don't remember agreeing specifically. <laughs> Explicitly. I will kill the spider with you. All right. You then found yourselves within the huge refinery. There were dozens of bio drones flying about your heads, carrying on with their incessant labours. To the south, you briefly glimpsed 
their mutated, your mutated selves before you saw them disappear into the darkness of the tunnels. You then hurried north. Charlie, you passed by the refinery terminal and found another torn out passage from Alice in Wonderland. Your trinket then called out to you in your head, eat me. Charlie, you resisted and threw Ollie into one of the crucibles, incinerating him. Was that a character choice you uh, felt comfortable in making? I felt that the course of events that led to this iteration of the story, Charlie was kind of not far gone enough and was more put off. Yeah. Uh, Who knows what's going to happen in the future, though. Isn't it funny that your corpse that Dorian found in the morgue was at the exact stage you are at now. Yeah. So do you think previous Charlie took it upon himself to uh, stop the mutation his own on his own terms? Possibly. Hmm. Meanwhile, no, oh, sorry. Yes, you threw Ollie into one of the crucibles. As you then ran, ran to the factory door, you were swarmed by sampler drones, but you all passed your save and managed to escape into the factory. Meanwhile, Simon, you made your way into the Grand Hall. You instructed Spencer, your spider, to crawl into the events above, keeping him busy and away from the others. Safe! Safe. Keeping him safe! Yes. You then passed into the play area. Doesn't that sound nice? The play area of the facility, passing into the parlour. You were then immediately charged by a giant holographic chimera. And then appearing from behind the bar, was a laughing companion android calling herself Ariel. She beckoned you to stay in chat, but Simon, you rushed. Naruto run, in tears running down your, your face into the drawing room and entering one of the secret passages. I did. Yeah, Josh is nodding. As you travelled through this passageway, you experienced a strong compulsion to bring the crew to the refinery and into the tunnels. You resisted this urge, and you panicked, and you gained the condition Death Wish. Yeah, because it's weird. It is. <laughs> yep. It is indeed. So while you were travelling through that passage, you were able to peek into the den, where you saw... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Peek makes it sound like I'm, I'm a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking through the murder holes, Yeah. yeah I should say, <laughs> you saw a strange woman pacing around the room, reading. Unfortunately... You just got the condition death wish and you acted out that condition by shooting her or attempting to with a trank gun. I believe it hit her, but she resisted and then fled further north. Oh, no, I I straight up missed. Oh, straight up missed. She saw the dart fly past and then fled further north into the facility. Now that you were alone and secluded, you began crafting another dose of the stabilization serum. Probably better that I just, you know... Start from scratch at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Charlie and Dorian, you found yourselves now in the factory. A trio of scouts patrolled the area and a soldier guarded the entrance to the reactor. You sneak past, heading towards the stairs to the foreman's office. As hour five ticks over, all three of the sleeper crew, all three of you begin to mutate further. Dorian begins to hunch over your muscles rippling underneath your skin. Charlie, your shoulder begins to sprout eyes and small limbs. And Simon, your fingers begin to elongate into tendrils. And your anus feels very itchy. (laughs) Dorian, now you finally decide to inject the serum, preventing further mutation, delaying it for what we now know is one hour, and you entered the foreman's office. Meeting them inside is the old mad scientist, Dr. Hua Fenwei, who greeted you warmly as friends. Are we all ready to begin? Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes. Then let us start. Yes! Good. Then let us start Bio-Drones and Cryo-Clones, part four. Content warning. This actual play may contain adult themes, foul language, violence and gore, sexual references, and all kinds of body horror. Listener discretion is advised.
as the door to the foreman's office opens in front of you, you see this older lady scientist, grayed hair, wrinkles around her small piercing eyes, and she says, Welcome, friends. You have come. I have been waiting for you. Please, come in. I'm going to glance at the uh, Gatling drone to the left of me, pulsating and sickly. Notice the one on the other side. Keep my gun trained on mine. Kind of throw you a look to ask if you're going to keep your gun on the other one. This is Dorian. Yeah. Yep. Throw Dorian a look. I've kind of got a, a grimace on my face. I'm baring my teeth. And I say... Are we supposed to know who you are? I am your creator. I am Dr. Hua. And you are the children of Chen Ting. In that case, can I call you mother? Oh no, that honor is already reserved for another. Do you hear? her call to you. You need to go to her. But first, please, let us talk. Please step in. Step into the office. Do not worry about my guards. They will not hurt you. (laughs) You are sacred. You are my honored guests. What do you think, Ollie? just the little tumor twin oozes foam out of its mouth. Dorian, what do oh. you resp- how do you respond? <laughs> I'm, Dorian's going to keep his gun trained on the soldier. Are they called, what are they, sentries? Or how would you, what are they called specifically? These are the soldiers of the Empire. Okay. Yeah, Dorian's going to keep his gun trained on that. Just kind of shooting glances between Dr. Fenway and the drone. And also now Charlie, uh, because that's creepy as hell. Sure, you walk forward and she leads you into the foreman's office. In the middle, you see a, a terminal with all these screens and controls. And to the west, you see the windows looking down into the factory itself. You can see that she had full view of you walking in, traveling up here. Through the looking glass. Yes. And the soldiers just stay at their post by the door. They do not follow. What's on the screens? Is it like a uh, surveillance system throughout the... No, it's like readouts and you see like materials lists and... Data kind of stuff. Data running. And you can see the production of the drones themselves is happening on the factory floor. You see these tubes just taking this biomatter where it is then stitched and grafted onto this mechanical pieces. Okay. Yes. Do you see? Do you see what I am creating? We see it. But what's it for? What's the purpose? It is to bring forth the Empire once again. Chen Ting's prophecy will be fulfilled. Where is Mother? The Mother calls to you, no doubt. She is in the tunnels. You must go to her once we have finished our talk. Well, what else is there to talk about? How are you feeling so far? You are instrumental to our methods. You will complete our great leader. Your genetic material will fuse with hers. (laughs) And we will all bring forth Shen Chen Ting. Have we had this conversation before? Yes, we have. Matter of interest, what happened last time? Some of you went to join the mother, whereas others, yourself in particular, took some convincing and not every time you have joined. But this one, she points at Dorian, this one has been most eager. No shit. 
There's something fucked up on your head. <laughs> well, I mean, that's saying something for this crew of people for sure, but... Wait, yeah, what are you, what are you, messed up or something? Something wrong with your head? I mean, hey? I think in the scheme of things, I'm fairly regular, but are you a clone? Are you part of this elaborate scheme? I am more than a clone. I am one of the instruments to Chen Ting's prophecy. I reactivated this facility. I began constructing the army we would need, and my work goes towards creating the great leader. Uh, it's all automated now. I'm guessing if I killed you, nothing would happen to stop it. No, my death is inconsequential. You cannot hold back what is coming. This technology is divine. It will uplift the human race. God is an astronaut. And we will make ourselves in our own image. Dorian, have you heard enough yet? I think so. I I shoot her. (laughs) You level your gun. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone roll a speed. Dorian and Charlie. Oh my god. Uh, 34 over 33. 82 over 37. Both fail. You will both go last. So Dr. Hua calls out to her two drones. She looks down at a watch on her wrist and plugs in some commands. You have made the wrong choice yet again. You give one chance to leave this place. Oh, I will have to order your regrettable destruction. And she steps back and takes cover. And you hear the soldiers begin to activate. They walk forward into view, blocking both sides of the room and point their guns at you and do nothing else. I shoot at it. It is your turn. Well, you, you, you failed less than me. So yeah, yeah. I, I failed less, worse. You can choose who goes first. I, I will take aim with my SMG at the soldier. All right, you got a soldier to the west and a soldier to the east, each blocking your exit. You yeah. take that one, I'll take this one. I think the one closest to me that I kind of have a clear line of sight to yeah. right now. Because you've got, well, you've, you've also got hand to hand, so you could jump on it. Yeah. If need be. Okay, Dorian, you may shoot your SMG if you wish at the soldier to the east. Okay. Remind me what I'm rolling for this because I haven't used a... So this will be either firearms. Yep. You can add it to your... It'll be a that. combat check. Can I use my military training? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Because you've only got hand-to-hand. Yeah, you? correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So roll your combat plus your military training. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so that is 50. My combat is 50. That's a fail. Fabulous. You just fail... But here's what's going to happen. Your shot goes off. Mm -hmm. So you may roll your damage, but your gun is now jammed and you will have to reload on your next turn. Okay. And the damage on that one is a D10. 2D10, please. Cool. That's a... Ooh, terrible. Uh, Four? Ooh, only four. You hit this thing as a glancing shot as your SMG just goes... And jams. What do you say? Shit. You may now move. I'm going to round up if we head north. Head north? Yeah, towards kind of the line where Dr. Fenway is. But I'm going to round the corner there, so hopefully I can so is your block. is your goal to get into cover? Yes, and also close the distance between myself and the doctor. Sure. So. You can go to where she is getting cover. You can go right near her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that kind of item in the centre? Is that a big control panel? Is so, it tall? Yeah, the room's quite large. Several, you know, dozens of metres across. And you've got the w- big row of windows and control panels to the east. In the centre is like a huge console dropping down from the ceiling with lots of terminals and screens around it. Okay, so it does offer some cover. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's perfect. where she's hiding. Excellent. Yep, cool. That's where I'm at. She grins as she sees you. Charlie. Firing blanks, Dr. Love Machine! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot with my shotgun. Of course, same soldier. Uh, no, the other one. Splitting damage, interesting choice. Oh, no, okay, never mind. No, same one. You're right. <laughs> same one. 
the secret to winning, you know, like splitting the party. Uh, yeah. I'm going to add my firearms. So that's plus 15. It is indeed. Okay, hang on, wait a minute. It says plus 15. Yes. That's plus 15 to the requirement number, right? Yes, it is. Critical fail. Uh, that was 99 over <laughs> 72. Well, that's an obvious fail. Can I just clarify no, something? Uh, wait a minute, no, just 52. Yeah, 99 over 52. I may... So the... 62, rather. Bonus yes. is to what you need to go under. Is that correct? You add it to your combat score. So what's your combat? Is 40. No, 50. So your target number would be 60. Right. So I got a... So I miscalculated. I misunderstood that. Okay. I'm sorry. You're right. It was... So it would be 50 under 60 then. So that would be success? Yes. But I still only did the four damage. That's fine. But your gun is no longer jammed. Oh, okay. Cool. So we, yep. all we did do is... Yeah. Thank you. We sorry. sort of failed forward. But jammed yeah, your gun. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Now we're fine. Thank Charlie, you, you have critically, critically failed. failed. Please take a stress right now. Mm -hmm. Then roll a panic, sir. Yep. I'm at 16 stress. I'm at 16 stress. Pass. 18 over 16. Ooh. What does that look like, John? What? I mean, not panicking. You missing and then almost panicking. What's um, going through your head? Well, I try to shoot. And the arm with the face on it, like, twitches. And, like, almost, like, makes me misfire on <laughs> oh, purpose. Trying to get you to not fight back. Yeah. Mmm. And I go... And I, like... Like, slap at my arm. Like <laughs> I'm... Like I'm slapping <laughs> the face. Shit! Can I move? You can move. You can move two ways. You can move closer to Dorian and, and Hua. Or you can take cover... I'll take cover. North. Yes. Or you can just gather with Dorian. I'll I'll head north. No, I head north and go to cover. All right, you're in different part of cover, but you do have cover. Yeah. Next up is back to Hua Fenway. She looks at you, Dorian, and she brings out a trank pistol and comes in to try to put you down, to disable you. Here we go. You will submit to the divine rule. And she stabs out, but it hits against your your combat armor, your battle dress, and it is not successful. It doesn't even go through the armor. Yeah. You're gonna have to try harder than that. I will weaken that armor of yours. Take it off her. And one of the soldiers that you haven't shot comes up, crawling across. It's on its little six arms. And it's going to try to rip your armor off. Oh God. With its multiple hands. Please roll a contested strength against this creature. We're no, a body, sorry. Make a body save. And because of how this is happening, can I add my hand to hand combat? Definitely. For this? Body save plus 15. Okay. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> oh no. It's a 98 that I rolled on the dice. What are the high numbers? Yeah, I'm one shy of a the worst critical fail, right? Because that's a 99? Yes. So that's helpful at least. So Simon, as this combat is taking a long amount of time, you will say a turn is being passed between the conversation and when we cut back to you, your formula will be done. Oh, nice. And we'll be to the next phase if they survive. <laughs> or it could be over quickly. Let's see. What was your number, Yeah, so Dorian? it's 98 over 53. That is a fail. This thing pulls off your battle dress in pieces, tearing it off, and it is now no longer going to give you adequate armor cover. Are my bionic bits visible? or am I... I don't know. <laughs> Do you think it tore off your lower half? Let's roll know. a 50-50. 63. Lower half has been torn off. Oh, God. And you're only... You were naked under there. Yeah. Gone commando. You are going commando. <laughs> that is its turn. The other one searches for you, Charlie, mm -hmm. and tries to do the exact same to you. Please make a body save. Uh, can I add athletics to try and you, Oh, definitely script? can. Good choice. Plus 10. Okay. So i got to go under 40. It's pretty good for a save. 62 over 40. You fail and your armor is removed. Let's see what part is removed of you. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that exposes the shoulder. 53, lower half as well. Legs. Okay. And now exposed. And I'll just say like, buy me a drink first. <laughs> and we start your round again. But before we do that, we head back to Simon. 
alone in a tunnel. Simon. Yes. You look down at your little console and the formula is now complete. <laughs> what do you do? Well, first, I've forgotten which formula it was. Stabilization serum. Oh, okay. In Jackie Jackie. You inject yourself immediately. I roll. No, it's an intellect roll from you, please. 25 under 51. That's success. Yes, it is. So I roll a 1d5. And your mutations have been halted. I check my anus. <coughs> your anus, while longer than it should be, <laughs> is not enough to be snaking out of your pants. <laughs> oh, God. John held up a, a large rimmed glass. <laughs> Simon, you may now move and tell me what you will be doing. Are you pouring one out? No, I was just saying, it's mainly just it's that. Josh is holding up a representation of the size yeah, yeah, of yeah. said anus. John held up a rather large brimmed glass, whereas Josh... Is I've, holding up I've opted for the the neck of my beer bottle. Yes. Well, you know, one of the stages of grief is bargaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Simon, you can now... We'll say the turn it takes you're doing now mm -hmm. is your travel. So you tell me where you are going well, now. I, I thought there would be another side to the tunnel, like somewhere to come out of, like another door or something. It looks like it ends just after the crown complex where you see into these little individual rooms. And is there just no door at the end? It's just a one-way hall? One-way passageway. Okay, so yeah. I have to go back the way I came to get out. Yeah, you would have to go back and then it's into the drawing room, okay. I believe. Well, I'll go out and I'll try and go to where they saw that other person. Sure. So you go down into the drawing room. And I'll describe it for you. You step out of the wall, creeping along. As before, you see the once vibrant colours of this room have been siphoned off and you passed up into the dining hall. Or what you now see is a dining hall. You see a forked blackwood table dominates this hall, covered in the shattered pieces from the crystal chandeliers that hang above. The walls curve around into defiled nooks and their sofas are torn and toppled. You see portraits of Chen Ting have been defaced, busts shot through with firearms. Little moustaches drawn on and monocles. Do you want to investigate or would you continue? I'll see if I can figure out who was in here or if there's anything left behind. You begin looking around and on the wall you find a patch of graffiti. Two crossed revolvers in paint. I remember that was meant to be significant of something. It's, it's your patch, Simon. Yes, it is. That's right, because my patch was replaced. Cowboy up. Yes. This is your patch. And the bullet holes look to be matching your pistols that you've got. They look like a revolver bullets. Sure do. Ooh. See you, space cowboy. You're going to carry that weight. These are your shots, and that is your patch. Do you continue? Absolutely. You continue north into the den. I'll get my revolver out and yeah. start walking a bit cowboyish. And you open the door. And we cut back. My stance will be slightly wider than it really needs to be. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of The World's End when he goes into the, the toilet in the pub and then he slips in the pee and then goes to punch the wall in anger and sees a punch mark that he left there 20 <laughs> years ago. Brilliant. We head back to combat... And I do believe it is both your turns. Who wants to go first? They look at each other. Well, we've both got things in front of us, so... You do. What does it really matter? How? You've got choices here. You can up and run using both your full turn to get long range. This is what you can do. Or you can stay and fight. How attached does the Gatling gun look like to the... Yeah, if you look on the screen you see this creature with this orifice coming out of the mouth with like sphincters. Mm -hmm. The Gatling bum. The yeah. Gatling bum. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out how hard it would be to like tear it off. It looks like oh it's considerably part okay, of this thing's work. anatomy. Yep, yep, yes. yep, yep, yep. All right. 
these are the, how powerful the arms were just ripping you. Yeah, no wonder they tore my yeah. pants right off. I'm just um, saying escape is a viable option yeah, in any yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want that watch. Oh, yes. The, the, you see her just input commands on yeah. this watch. How much of a boon that would be to so, your group. Yeah, this is my theory. This mm. is what I want to do. I want to see if I can somehow get around the soldier. Yes. And I don't know if I've got to break her wrist or what to get the watch off of her. Sure. But I want to try and get the watch off of her. All right, let's do it. Is that, yeah, okay. Do a hand-to-hand -hand combat Ooh. or a strength, whichever's higher. Well, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? And try mm. to, you're trying Cut a hand to, off with your knife. Yeah, that's it. Shoot the hand off at the wrist. <laughs> you so, could try that. Because <laughs> I've got my gun ready. That's going to be a terrible idea. No, I'm going to try and use my hand-to-hand -hand combat to just try and skirt around the soldier and then snatch the watch off or if I've got to like break her wrist to like yeah, loosen it up it. and get it I'll do let's, it let's do it <gasps> okay it's a 12 under 65 please explain how you rip the watch off this lady okay. this old defenseless lady okay so I'm gonna try I'm just gonna like fake out the soldier to skirt around him sure then I'm going to come right up next to her, hold on to her hand with one arm, with one hand, and then just snap her wrist with the other one. Oh. And then just slide the watch straight off. And the gore passes through the old bones of this lady and uh, Dr. Hua, and you just slide this. The blood makes it slippery as you hold the watch in your hand. She holds it. Yep. I've got no movement left, right? I'm done. With you can that? you can move. I I want to no, try. No, sorry, you cannot move because okay. you've done it. I'm this done. is it. All right, cool. Yep. What do you want to yell out to Charlie? Let's finish this. I've got the control device. Charlie, it is now your turn. Right next to the soldier, holding your half of your battle dress. We'll figure out how it works. I'm gonna shoot it. Go for it. With me shotgun, adding me firearms. <laughs> It'll go better this time. Okay, so Point blank range even. Please roll with advantage. Oh, sweet. I was going to say, I, re I remember there being something specific about point blank. Point blank range, shotgun. I've got to roll under 62. Let's do it. Come on, Charlie. Believe in the heart of the cards. They're both one. One of them is four. <laughs> four under 62. 62. You level your shotgun. Point blank range. It's holding your pants in one hand, holding it, your pants in one hand, and you just go. First, I'm going to say, yours might be bigger, but mine shoots better. And I shoot. Bang. <laughs> Please roll your damage. No, it's a straight wound. Straight wound. You blow one of this thing's arms off, and it just slips and slides on the ground. <laughs> Screeches. <laughs> Boom, baby. You may now move. Catchphrase. Uh, I'm gonna. That's that's the wound table now, right? For that, when we do not wounds. for NPCs. I've just said it's oh. blown its arms off. Okay. Watching it, its arm. No, I stay r right where I am. You blew its bloody arms I'm, off. I'm like turned on <laughs> by the gore. I lick my teeth and I just stand right there, ready to give it another one. All right, you hold your ground, and it is now their turn. Got one shot left on the first round. NPCs turn again. Doctor Hua, with one hand disabled now she instead of going in for the injection she runs escapes down the stairs so she rushes past you goes down the stairs you lose sight of her actually no 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 you leave me no choice she rushes to one of the terminals in front and with her good hand She's begins open the windows she begins typing in this command. It's... We ne it needs to happen. It needs to happen now. There's no choice. And she types in commands. I'm sure that's perfectly fine. And now it's the soldier's turn. The soldier in front of you will just try to straight up shoot you now. Actually, no. No. Because its command last given on the watch was to strip you of the armor and hold you down. So this thing is going to try to hold you down right now. Please make a body save. Come okay, on, so I can add my hand to hand to this? Yes, you can. This okay. is going to try to pin you, preventing you from activating anything. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. 
It's a it's an eight under fifty three, I think it is. You succeed. You are not pinned down. Perfect. Excellent. The other soldier goes for you, Charlie. Mm-hmm. This thing is going to try to pin you down now. Yep, body save. Actually, let's wrestle that gun out of your hand, mate. Okay. Because that's what you've just shot with. Please make a body save. Body save plus athletics. athletics. Go for it. So, under 40. 37 over 40. No, 37 under 40. Oh, thank God. (gasps) You pass. You manage to hold onto your weapon. It stays put. We now go into yours turn again. How is it taking the shotgun? It's got no arms. Yeah, it's got it's many got hands. Six, it's got six arms. We've only taken one. Only That's, taken too one. That's too many. <laughs> That's too many arms. I'm going to shoot it again. Go for it. With the last round, with the last shot on my first round. Sorry, Simon, but this combat is no, no, no. Uh, taking precedent. I'm just uh, conflicted with uh, Charlie shooting an unarmed... Tr- <laughs> it's got plenty of arms. <laughs> okay. So again, firearms under 62. Go for it. And a point blank range. Or should we want to shave that off because it tried to grab it, so I'm fumbling, if you would like me to. Let's say that advantage now goes away. Okay. Under 62. 20 under 62. Bang! You level this shotgun right into the brain dome, just underneath the Gatling gun, and you blast it. Gore flows over you, this brain matter and goo. And it drops to the floor, dead. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. <laughs> Charlie. Yes? What do you do? The blood just goes... Yeah, realistically, I should help you by coming back around the wall. That'd be nice. I could help you, but... <laughs> realistically, but like, it's Charlie Valentine. Part of me wants to dive onto it and start eating its brains. <laughs> Part of me wants to just... Assert my dominance by tearing my teeth into its brain <laughs> pan. Charlie's like full bloodlust? Yeah. No pants and bloodlust? Yeah, he's... He's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's less than flaccid, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, That'll be one way of getting a sample. <laughs> uh, but I'm not an idiot, so I'm going to run around. All right, you run around and you see Dorian struggling with a soldier as well, and that is your turn. It is now... The doctor's turn now. So I can see the doctor. Did I have my turn? Yeah, you went. No. No. No, 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 no. Because it's Charlie and me go at the same time. Yeah. So right? you resisted the body you save. From the soldier. From when the it was soldier's his turn. turn. Yes. Yes. And then Charlie shot. Then I shot. Now it's your turn. I do apologize. No, Dor- that's okay. I no do worries. apologize, Dor- Dorian. You may go. Okay. I'd like to run and spear tackle the doctor. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm adding my hand to hand to this. Go for it. What is that? Okay, so that's 17 under 60. uh, Sorry, 53. That is a success. You knock this old lady to the floor. It's too late. You're too late. And you hear this klaxon. Oh. You remember her turn was entering it in? Oh, yeah. It's going to make a joke to be like Dorian Black, a.k.a. the grocery aisle. (laughs) And (laughs) as, as you stand over Dr. Fenway through the windows of the foreman's office. Far to the east, you see those klaxons whirring on the door to operations as you see this huge blast door begin to open. <laughs> as it slowly opens. More Metal Gear vibes. Just more and more. Every, every explanation of this just makes me think of a fleshy Metal Gear and I do believe it's her turn now. You pushed her down. I, yeah, I spear tackled her, so I think I've got her pinned, basically. She now... No, not pinned. No? Okay. Not pinned. I'll take that. You did say push. No. Spear tackle. Spear tackle. Spear tackle. Yeah. Whatever's narratively better, I'm happy with. It wasn't a critical success, so I don't know how far to go with it, but she is an old lady, pretty weak. So let's say she is has to try to resist to get out of this. Mm -hmm. So she's going to make a body save and then she's going to have one turn to one movement action. Let's do it. Failure, 97. She is still pinned. That's probably how old she is. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. No, you know she's over 100. Could be over 100. Oh, yeah, that's right. Definitely a fool's risk. I must go back. You will not do this. And I believe there's a soldier left. Yes. 
the soldier tries to pin I mean I'm nearer try to pull my shirt off tries to pin you okay the, the pin command from the watch is just that was the last command right so it would continue yeah. to try to pin looks like both the drones have been trying to disable both of you somehow gotcha. without yep. violent yeah gotcha okay so that's a body save plus athletics please go under 40 that's a 63 over 40 you fail, you are so pinned, you cannot move, and your shooting will be at disadvantage. Okay. It is now your turn. Or Dorian, who wants to go? Mm, maybe I'll try. Looking at the... I just want to look at the watch. Sure. It looks like a small green display. Yeah. Like cyan letters and orange display coming up. And it has a few commands that you can, you can see. Mm -hmm. You can see shut down, halt, flee, attack, salvage... And subdue. Okay, I'm hitting the shutdown button. You hit shutdown button. God, if that shuts down the watch and everything's still going, then that's the <laughs> yeah, ultimate Yeah, that's just the off button. <laughs> yeah. You see the soldier to the north just go limp and fall on top of Charlie as it re releases its grip. And combat ends. I'm going to grab Dr. Fenway by the throat. And we'll head back to Simon. Wow, well done. Well done, I must say. Simon, you walk into this den where you saw this, this woman before. This enemy, this stranger that you went to attack. And you see from now a more intimate view of this den, looking like a cosy hunter's lodge trapped in forever autumn. You see hybrid animal trophies emptied of their false eyes all over the walls, and a great number of them appear to be human heads without eyes. Any one that I recognize? No. <laughs> okay, good. No. <laughs> it's just every android. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just rows of Simon or Charlie or yeah. Doran, yeah. You see, the northwestern room has that ancestral reliquary. You hear a strange whistle of air and to the east you see the ceremonial armory containing ancient looking armor and weaponry garish ceremonial military dress look like modern replicas of their previous and none of them look functional and real you see ceremonial combat dress you see advanced ceremonial combat dress you see a vibe dao like a chinese blade <laughs> Sword. But is it functional? That's what I want to know. You don't know? Would you like to oh, bash yeah, I want the to, glass? I want to test that shit out. This is really your anime arc, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake. The Naruto <laughs> run was foreshadowing. Yeah. God, it's true. It's all true. You pick up this sword, remove yep. it from its sheath. Tell me. And you press a button, and this blue lightning goes up the blade. And then you press it again, it goes... As you have a vibe Dow, 3D10 damage. Fuck off! 3D10. And you see advanced battle dress and standard battle dress. <laughs> yeah, advanced place. <laughs> this, is, this is a shopping cart. And in one fell swoop, Simon had the best arc of the entire one shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's exiting his, like, Guys, film noir he's era. He's still at 18 stress, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, Simon, I'm assuming you're going to take another 15 minutes. Your next 15 minutes will be to put this on. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll mm. just be going around like a sh with, a sh with my little shopping cart, just cool. uh, picking up stuff that I think is useful for this next... Because, yeah, I'm going to say it's at least 15 minutes to take off your suit, your hazard suit, plus yeah. get into this. So let's say that's another turn. Yep. I forget which one the advanced battle dress is, so I'll need the sheet for that soon. Oh, it's armor 10. Yeah, what? no, uh, it AP is. 10. Yeah, AP ten. Yeah, but it's. I, I remember it's got other things like how the hazard has other things as well. So. It has the following installed: short range comms, which you know are jammed, body cam, headlamp, exoskeleton weave, strength checks with advantage, ignores the first wound, and your speed checks are at disadvantage. I like how this is what you know. What this is this is the the blessing of reign of in blood. Remember how yeah. we just we we went in guns blazing, and Eric was like, "I can't believe they survived." I've yeah. played two different groups of like died within the first ten minutes, yeah. and you guys are just tanked the whole thing. 
That's what we did when we stayed in there and killed the... Yeah, um, I remember how you cleared through a lot of people with your Vibe Shady. Yeah. And I cleared through a lot of people with, in my advanced battle dress with the machine gun. And now you could have I feel shady. like I'm just like combining these two <laughs> yeah. uh, in one, yeah. So it's ceremonial looking? Oh, yeah. He's in like full Chinese ancient garb, like traditional armor, layered in the traditional... It's really gaudy and... Hell yeah. And yeah, yeah he looks tell like, me my it? accumulation level. Come yeah. on, tell me how much spiritual energy I've accumulated. Yeah, plenty. As you just complete this I'm at the, set, I'm at the golden pill phase, guys. Looking like this, this warrior of the Empire, you see Ariel coming through the door and she looks at you and says, My, my, you have scrubbed up rather nicely. Haven't you? Does Ariel... Because I've met Ariel before. Does Ariel count as a stranger at this point? No. Or not? No, okay. Let's say you had amicable words with her before. <laughs> but she marvels at your girl. Yeah, I, I, she was just really too forward, so I weaved out. Yeah. <laughs> I have studied the blade. Dr. Bayo Sasuke. I'm envisioning you look like the big uh, like warrior dudes from Sucker Punch. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The big metal guys. I can I can vibe with that. I can vibe Dowblade with that. <laughs> you look like a true soldier of the Empire. Shall we? And she walks forward to grab your hand. What? 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 Where, where? Shall we what? Come, it is time. It is time for what? You're being very, very withholding of information. Why, to go to operations, of course. <laughs> and then do what? It will all be explained to you. I need to see my friends. Uh, <laughs> you have a choice. What do you want to do? I want to keep going forward up through there. Following her to the north? Sure. But that's where she wants to lead you. That's where she already, already wants to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's grabbing your hand and just caressing it on the top. It just feels like like unwanted. Uh... <laughs> then go south. That's your choice. <laughs> no, no, no. Ariel's advances feel very unwanted. He feels very uncomfortable by okay. so the like, uh, so much attention. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> what does he do? Fucking hell! Now that she said, "I want to go to operations," I'm like, I don't want to go anymore. How about you bring the cure back to us? This is yeah. This is peak ADHD, Josh. Already, where if someone t if I'm going to do something anyway, then someone asks me to do it, and then I'll all of a sudden not want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're being nagged. So I'm going to run run the other way and try and go to find my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Which way? No. Which way did that strange woman go? To the north. No, I want to go north. I will go north. Oh, God. No. no yeah, I want to go north because that's where, that's the way that other person went. And I want to know yeah. who that is and what they're about. Ariel wants you to take that way. Yeah, but I'm, However, not, I'm not holding her hand, though. You've got a death wish. You're going to kill this person. That's your reasoning, correct? Well, that's not why. I might yell out, Introduce yourself! <laughs> Hang on, bring it down. I might yell out, Introduce yourself! My name is Simon! I believe Death Wish says you attack anyone who's a stranger or a known enemy. And she is, well, in fact, she's a not a known enemy, but if she introduces herself, uh, is she a stranger? I don't know about that. No, I don't know about Come that. Come on, Josh. <laughs> You've got the condition Death Wish. This is your motivation. You want to kill her. Ah, uh, well, I don't... Yeah, okay. Is it a persistent thing? Does it go... Well, oh, yeah. This you is... just now just want to kill that person forever. Let me just see. I believe it was 24 hours you will suffer. Let me just check for you. Yeah, there is some some things that I need to know about this, I guess. Simon's entered his, like, full villain arc now. 24 hours. 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. It's not necessarily the the villain arc. It's more like margin arc. Mm. It's his margin Simon. Mar margin Burr. That's because his last name's Burr. It's... <laughs> We have dwelled on this. What is your final choice? Uh, look, one of the things I want to know about the condition, is it while you are looking at the person? Or You're going to game it by closing your eyes. I'm going to see you. No, no, not, that's not what I mean. I'm, what I'm saying is, would it be a persistent thing where now that I've seen it there as that stranger, I'm going to try and chase after them or I'm only going to attack them if... So it's whenever you encounter a stranger... Okay. Or a known enemy, you must make a sanity save or immediately attack them. Okay. So when you encounter this woman once again, it will just be a sanity save. Okay. If you pass Do that I retain my own 
thoughts on wanting to know, like being like, oh, but who is that? I'm curious. Yeah, if you fail the save, you attack her immediately. Yeah. If you pass the save... I'm just trying to see how it will play into my character because I, my character, Simon, without any of that bloodlust, is like, well, that's a new person. Yeah. I want to know what's going on. Maybe they know something. Yeah, your sanity save will tie into that. If your sanity okay. save fails, you basically lose control of so yourself. So because that person has since left and I've had some time, I'm like, yeah, I'm going back to curiosity. But if I see them, I'm mm -hmm. going to have to resist the temptation. If you them. pass the save, you'll be good. For that yeah, okay. character. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, yeah, I'll keep going north because I do really want to find out about the first person. You go north. But I at least know that it's not because I'm trying to chase yeah. after them like... Uh, you don't have like a murderous bloodlust yeah. and you're like, that person's my enemy this now. Isn't, this isn't the shining. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel takes your hand and leads you. I pull my hand away and I keep going. <laughs> through forward. the crown complex. And I just like rub my palms on my pants. My new advanced battle dress kind of feel like rubbing the feeling of holding hands All right, off. Romeo. <laughs> you pass through a promenade of skeletal trees that rot in the spoiled earth of which they are planted, leading forwards north into a cracked, dried-up fountain. You see ramps on either side of this ruined mezzanine level. To the west of these rooms, you see offices that are shred to pieces, and the eastern rooms are mostly guest quarters, you would summarise for dignitaries of some such. And you know this is where you saw the murder holes into the dignitaries oh. uh, thing. To the north, you enter another door into quarters. This is Chen's quarters. I have kept it very nice for her. What are the other options? This is just straight north. Uh, no, I'm just saying, like, if she's leading me through what door number one, is there a door number two or three? Oh, as you're passing, the western rooms are all mostly offices, and yep. they look shredded to pieces, ruined, yep. and all the eastern rooms are guest quarters. Because I remember I saw a map earlier, Yeah. and I thought that there was a small, like, cubicle room to the north east. So I'm just trying to remember... That's what I wanted to aim for. Yeah, the girl who you saw before disappeared to the north, going past all those rooms to yep. the north. And is that where Ariel's also leading me? Yeah, there's a okay. door at the front. Okay. Yeah. Yep. She leads you in. Ariel says, I have kept it pristine for her return. You see the red marble columns inset with a golden dragon's maw, and the supports reflect darkly upon onyx glass flooring. You see Chen's tapestries and paintings and sculptures. It makes the most magnific magnificent S-class amenities in rim space look quaint by Am comparison. Amenities? Amenities. This is a... Am uh, amenities, Andrew. Amenities. This is a uh, truly a uh, queen's room. There's gold and red and black onyx flooring. And ahead of that you see another door. Please, come into operations. It will all be clear to you. Revolver in my left hand, lightsaber in my right hand. It's not a lightsaber. It's a um um a generic laser blade. Uh, Disney, don't sue us. Oh, sorry. Yep, 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 yep. Generic Light lightning dow. Yeah, lightning dow. She opens the door and it slowly slides open. And we cut to the others. <laughs> Charlie Dorian This soldier Charlie is now just on top of you Weighing you down I'm going to try and push it off Have I noticed Well first of all have I, I've noticed that it's gone limp There's no initiative Dr. Hua is just Sitting on the floor Looking at you Dorian I've grabbed her by the throat. Yeah, you've got her. What do you say? She's trying to talk. <coughs> All right, I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to make this thing go pop if you don't answer some questions. And then I'm going to say, Valentine, get out from under that thing and check this console. Uh, do I need to roll to get out of it? Yeah, you roll on your side. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kick it and it sort of stumbles, I imagine. Yeah, just sort of... It's limp. It's Jiggles. living. Yeah, it's living. And then I... Uh, kind of go at it and then I walk over to the console you kiss it right on the gun sphincter no I don't kiss it I just <laughs> I just kiss distance 
We're not there yet. The light's still young. <laughs> you see the foreman's control panel. You see machine controls for the industrial equipment in the factory and the refinery. Okay, I check that panel. Yeah, let me describe, okay, John. Go. You see door controls for the 10-meter blast doors into ops through the grand hall and for descending the walkway in the factory to bring it down to a lower level. You see on the readout blast doors activated mm -hmm. and you also see on the readout core breached reactor radiation level 2 it looks like she started the reactor this place is going to blow up no no you knew from FARS that the power was already fluctuating mm -hmm. so you know that she didn't activate that Oh, okay. You just know it was already damaged, and that's what shut down most of the okay. facility's power. Oh, well, okay. No, never mind. She opened the doors to something. Oh, yeah. Is she there a camera feed? You can look out the foreman's window. Would you like? You All can right, see what's it. coming? What's coming through the bloody door? Nothing's coming through the doors. You just see the giant blast doors leading to operations. It's opened. I can I try and shut them again? If you press the button, the doors will. I of press the doors shut. and shut them. Yeah. You enter in the command, and the doors you see in the distance go. Shh. And they begin closing again. Uh, this is fantastic. Why? Because Simon's just looking into the room with these doors opened. And he's going to see in his time these doors begin to close. Just at the same time you're in this office. It's just great. <laughs> um, as another 15 minutes go by. As we enter hour six. I'm going to squeeze a little. Yeah. And say, did you set off some kind of alarm? Dorian, as you squeeze, your your flesh, oh you just feel this strength and this rage within you. Your shoulders hunch up and your head moves down a bit. You're looking more like a some sort of ape-like creature more than what you were before. But you managed to hold on. Cool. I did take... The, the stabilization serum at hour five. You did. So, cool. But, but I, when I'm explain like, it's a bit hard because it's listed as the mutations happening every hour. Yeah. But in reality, it's sort of happening during the hour. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sort of reinforcing that you were changing and this is what you, but it's halted so far. Perfect. Okay, mm. cool. Yeah. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit and say, do you set off some kind of alarm system? I, I can't talk. <laughs> I'll release slightly. <laughs> I opened the doors. Uh, yeah, I was not able to awaken her, but that is for the best. She is not ready. It was a desperate attempt, but it does not matter. She will be ready soon. You will fail. She spits in your face. I'm going to slam her head against the floor. Is your intent is to knock her out or kill her? Um knock some sense into it. All right, I'm going to roll a body save. If I fail... I was going to say, this is episode one of The Strain where the L, the, the, L, the master, like, splat, pumpkin squashes the head. So you grip her throat yeah. and just slam her onto the floor. Yeah, a little up and down. With a bit more strength than you thought you had. Oh, God. And you hear this wet crack <coughs> as she goes limp in your arms. Okay, can I feel... Is she dead? Can I check for a pulse? You check for a pulse and you see her head is cracked and you find no such pulse. <laughs> Charlie, you're at the terminal focused. Uh, you also, you oh, keep where reading. Are, where are my pants? <laughs> In the arms of one of the soldiers to the north. You want to put them back on? Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll keep looking Let's the say they're ruined. They're ripped. Oh, okay. Oh, enough for modesty, I think, is what he's aiming for. <laughs> I think... Fashion yourself a loincloth out of your pants. I think they were damaged in the tearing off enough to be ruined. Mm. It was a successful... They're chaps now. <laughs> yeah. Totally crotchless. They were they were already Velcroed. I'll give you this. <laughs> you both have three armour on them now. Okay. Yeah? yeah, you got three armour. Actually, I had AP4, so AP... AP8, so it's AP4 now. You had AP7. I had AP... Oh, okay. You got your math wrong. I've written eight here for some so reason. Seven's You're wrong. The, the top and pants combined, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's split the difference and say you've got three. Fine. Rounding down. Three total. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, well, yeah, three each. 
you also see John encrypted files mm -hmm. and you see controls to awaken superior Chen uh, would you like to press that one no I'd like to <laughs> see if I can I don't have any hacking but I just try and brute force with mind and I'm, intellect I'm curious about the oh yeah if only you had Simon yeah. who has computers and hacking I'll, I'll try and... If only you were a team, John. Well, if only if only a little spider couldn't help you out right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, in general, you, you're not really a team this whole adventure, and it's suffering for it now. I'm trying to... I'm going to try and brute force so the John, computer. John. Yes? You can't. Why not? You're a dumbass marine. I can, I can still roll intellect. But just jarheads, man. No, no, no. It's not that kind of game, John. If you are not a, a physicist... You can't bumble your way into splitting the atom. Is there a password? <laughs> was it already unlocked? Is there a password on the encrypted files? If there was a password, Dr. Fenway is now dead. I write Chen Ting. Nothing happens. <laughs> Chen Ting 1. Nothing happens. Password. Console locked. Please oh. return in 24 hours. Oh, God. No, <laughs> it's a joke, but yeah. It just keeps going up and up in time like an I'm iPhone. Just, these files are encrypted, and you need to be actually trained in this if you had a skill you would be able to do it automatically without a role where's that goddamn android <laughs> but i'm just giving you guys a hint that you may need to find your friend uh, or mm. just give up on this part or, or try the password bride of chen oh god who's got the you got the jabs yes i do have the jabs uh can you hand me one yeah, I'm going to pass over the sterilization. No, not sterilization. <laughs> We're not at that stage yet. I think you guys might have enough for one dose each. Well, we had five. There's three left. And then, yeah. Well, I, th I think three have been used out of... You had one shot. Charlie had one shot. I just gave myself a shot. So then there's... There so six. there were six total. There were six? Okay, perfect. Okay, Excellent. I'll jab myself again. Oh, God. So we're into our six. I'm telling this to myself the warden, because when I make the YouTube video, everyone, I have to go and reverse engineer the timeline and make little little things show up on the little screen you're seeing right now. We're at our, hour six. Yep. No, we're not. We're at five hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> Almost. Quarter to hour six. So we're at five hours and 45 minutes. Yes. Our six mutations for you two mm -hmm. will now begin at six hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab... First of all, I want to describe the thing. I, t I, I grab the needle. Yes. And uh, I say... Tweedledum and Tweedledee agreed to have a battle. And then I jabbed it into my... Right in the face of a little mutant on my arm. Needly needle time. Yes. Does he have a mouth? Yeah. He's good. Drinks it like a bottle. Yeah, I was going to say, you can just slowly, <laughs> sort of like uh, hand rearing a, a, a small kitten or something, just slowly squirt it, and then you just see the little tongue go. Yeah. Oh, God. That's exactly what happens, Josh. <laughs> okay. okay. Where's the goddamn android? Well, we're going to have to figure that out. Did I, When she controlled the drones. Yeah. Did it look like she entered anything else in? Because I'm nervous to press any of the buttons without really understanding quite what they do. Obviously, the shutdown seems to have worked. Mm -hmm. But if I want to control them to, like, attack something, sure. I'm just a bit concerned that I'm going to press the attack button and that's going to attack anyone that's in the room. I'm trying to figure out how to specify that. So did I see her do anything else? No, in the moment, it was very hard to study yeah. something like that and she knew it exactly what they're doing. But I'll tell you what, if you take 15 minutes of trying this option, trial and error... You've got a drone in front of you. It's yeah. shut down. You can. I just don't want it to start shooting like Charlie or. You can tie it up with something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That no, sounds like a plan. It. All it's going to do is take time. Yeah. So it's going to take. I think that's a good investment of time, honestly. Fifteen minutes to figure that out. Yeah. I was going to say, if you guys figure out a way of opening the comms back up, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Well, well no. I'll... Well, we're both dum dums at the console, so that's not going to. Well. Let us continue, with what you find. When it hits six hours, do the new clones get born? Sure does. So are they being born right now? So yeah, we <laughs> spend 50, yeah we spend fifteen minutes studying the drone, and then. Well, at least we can take them out once we figure out how the watch works. 
Probably. I don't know. It could play out exactly how it played out when we woke up. You could do a weird looper situation where you educate your, your new selves and then kill yourself. Like, this is what's happened so far. Uh, here, take this, or you'll turn into what we look like now, or worse. <coughs> so, Mr. John, Mr. Charlie. Yes? As you're exploring this area, to the north, hidden in one of the nooks, you find the radio jammer. And next to it is a severed head. Is it a head that I recognize? We'll find out. Charlie. Mm -hmm. You see your head. Please roll. First off, roll a fear. Mm -hmm. Then panic. Roll a panic. Okay. Fear. 83 over 40. You fail, take a stress. I am at 17 stress. Awesome. Look on the bright side. You'll get to shut down the comms, the, yeah. the, the jammer. That That's was a goal. Nine under 17. I'm panicking. You serious? Yeah. You are deflated yet again. Mm hmm. That's a good point. Shouldn't we have been doing disadvantages? We missed some disadvantages back then. No, deflated just means whenever a close remember fails a save, you gain one stress. Oh, great. So you should be adding about four stresses right now because Dorian failed a bunch, right? Of saves? Yeah. Okay. Well, Body my... saves. I did fail one save for the pants tearing yeah, incident. There was one save for the pants. Okay, I'm at 20 stress then. <laughs> no, you're at 19. Right. No. I'll give you two, two options. Yes. You can take two extra stress right now. Mm-hmm. Or you can roll again for another condition. I'll roll again for another condition. Let's do it. 14 under 17. Wow. <laughs> As you see this head, you go blank. And you begin to experience a hallucination. A vision. You see this creature. This pair of legs descending from the ceiling in the darkness and all you see and smell what's your favourite smell Charlie? Um fire campfire you smell the campfire maybe bringing back memories of you as a child perhaps yeah and you see this lower body descend and all you see is the the warm embrace of the mother's milk and you begin to suckle gain a stress and mm -hmm. you come back to your senses I'm at 18 stress <laughs> Sam has got her hands on her face I want to understand where this is happening from the legs I'm confused the legs descended from the ceiling a pair of legs yeah. that have descended from the ceiling that is what Charlie is hallucinating and he is now suckling in the mother's embrace. Suckling what? <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> toes? The big toes. Just drip milk. Oh, God. Uh, I'm holding my own head. Yeah. Like Hamlet. I turn it, you know, over. I start, like, poking my finger into the mouth. I just drop it. I pick up my shotgun, put it into my mouth, and shoot myself in the head. And we'll see you next week. John! <laughs> John! Oh boy! That got dark, John. We went to a place there. Yeah. Hope you're all okay, listeners. There's, we did warn you. I did say several times in the previous episode that I would... Yeah. I thought for sure you were going to tongue kiss the head. I thought that's what was happening there. Oh, no. It no. could have gone several ways, but, but I feel like this was definitely on, on par. On brand. Yeah. Yeah. It's on brand? Yeah. For uh, Charlie Valentine to... Yep. I think, the, I think going in, the listeners knew we had a content warning, and we've. I hope you all are enjoying this darker side of the story. This is definitely a, definitely an adult-themed one-shot, and I think that's what we're, we're leaning in. Charlie, version one, is no more. And we pass down 
Dorian, what were you doing at the time? Just looking down at... I was figuring out... the watch. Yeah, we tied up the drone. Yes. And figuring out the watch mechanics. So you're there studying this watch, standing over this drone. And from behind the wall, you just hear this shotgun blast. Yeah. And we cut away. Would I see the spray on the wall? You just hear it. Mm. And you will find out. We head down, down. And in my hand, my, my dead body is lying there. In my hand... Just a little note that says, curiouser and curiouser. (laughs) Simon, you stand at the precipice of this immense room, your face expressionless. We pass down again into the labs as we see two tubes with the bodies of Charlie and Dorian and the camera focuses in on their faces and their eyes open. And we'll see you in part five. Well done, everyone. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, everybody. Then let us start Biochrones and Cliochrones part four. Four. You might have to redo the name then. You said Biochrones and Cryochrones. Oh, Biochrones? Yeah. Then, sorry. Ready? Then let us, then let us begin Biodrones and Cryoclones part four. Thank you, Sam. <clears throat> One editing credit to you. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Metal Gear. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) And to the east, you see the ceremonial... uh, Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say, speaking of strange whistle of air, hey, hey John, do you need a... um... John is breathing (laughs) into the mic. (laughs) No, I was going to say, do you need a tissue? (laughs) Sorry, everyone. Lean lean back, John. Good. Like a lot. Just leave the room. (laughs) John is making a strange... Exercising, exorcism face. He's fully embodying Charlie Valentine right now. Uh, I'm holding my own head. Yeah. Like Hamlet. And sucking dick. Josh. <laughs> I mean, you... <laughs> you bring, let him have his scene. <laughs>